Hello, I built a simple French cleat chisel holder using just a table saw, a screwdriver, and a few clamps. Also glue. All your chisels and all your chisel accessories in one place. One stop chiseling. Welcome to the latest build video in our French cleat tool holder series. Today is chisels, because I need a place to hold my chisels. I've seen a lot of very well made French cleat tool holders out on the internet, but a lot of the tools that more advanced carpenters use to make such things are not available to people with just a garage wood shop. So my tool holder is just going to be made from scrap wood and common tools like a table saw, glue, a screwdriver, and you know, some clamps. This is the sort of thing that most of us have, and if you don't have it, go buy it because you'll use it in all your projects in the future. First, determine the width of the chisel where you want to hang it. Mine happens to be three quarter inch. And that means for my six chisels, all of our cuts are going to be three quarters of an inch wide. The first cut will be a three inch piece. I have six chisels and I will cut five of these. The next cut is a one and a half inch piece and I will cut six of these because I have six chisels. Then I'll cut two more three inch pieces that are half the width of the others. These are going to be the left and right sides of our shelf. Now that I've laid out the measurements for these pieces of wood, here's some footage of me cutting those pieces of wood I just showed you. You'll have to do the same thing if you want to build one of these. Once you've cut the pieces, you just glue them together. The glue is dry, and now we've got this nice fingered shelf that the chisels are going to hang in. All we need now is the backer board and the French cleat hanger to make this a rack. The next step is to cut a backer board to mount your shelf to. The dimensions of this backer board are based on the width of your shelf, so I don't know the width of your chisel, so you'll have to figure that out for yourself. But cut that width, and then glue your shelf down. Once I got everything clamped down, I put two screws in the back just to make it a little stiffer to hold the weight of the chisels. And then I cut the French cleat to the width of the backer board and glued it in place using a couple of those clamps we've been using. And that was the last step. We're good to go when the glue dries. So there it is, the French cleat chisel holder here on the French cleat wall next to its French cleat cousins like the screwdrivers and clamps and pliers and everything else. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? But it's not finished yet. I haven't yet put on the sharpening stone. The sharpening stone is here with the chisels in case I need to sharpen one. When I pull it off the rack, I don't have to run off and find this uh, to sharpen it. I might get distracted and forget what I'm doing. I am getting older. So I want to put this with the rack, but this is a wood shop. Wood shops generate clouds of sawdust. This is a porous piece of rock that's soaked in oil. In other words, this is a sawdust magnet. So if I put this up on top of the rack, a top part here, it's just going to be covered in sawdust. So what I want to do is put it underneath this shelf so that it has a little bit of a cover so that the sawdust won't permeate it. Hopefully that's going to keep us relatively clean. How am I going to mount this sharpening stone underneath the shelf on the chisel holder? Well I'm going to use L brackets. L brackets will take the stone and cradle it so that it will hold it underneath the shelf. You just reach up and put it up there and it's in place. But it might fall off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this L bracket and I'm going to bend it to look like this. So the tip is bent up and when the stone goes in it sits in this little trough here and it holds it in place. I bent the tip of this using a vice grip and a hammer because let's face it hitting things in the shop with a hammer is fun. But you don't have to do that. If you don't have a vice grip and a hammer well you can use pliers, your teeth, or some other third thing but no matter what you use to bend it, once it's bent, all you have to do is screw it onto the backboard to hold your sharpening stone in place, and you're good to go. Now we have a chisel tool hanger on our French cleat wall of tool hangers. You see we've got a little bit of room left to go. That's why we're building a new French cleat tool holder every month. 
Soon this wall will be filled as long as that wall and that wall and that wall way back over there. We're going to add more stuff until we're done and declutter the shop. We're going to show you how to build each one. Thanks to our patrons, you make this sort of thing possible. Really appreciate your help. We do a French cleat tool project every month. So if you want to see future French cleat tool holder projects, or if you want to see the things that we use these tools to build, because we film that too, then like, subscribe, join us. And you won't miss an upload as we use this shop to do cool things. But for now, our chisels are safe, safe on the wall, safe from the dust clouds, ready for use at any point. I'll see you next time.